So off we go with our most anticipated for next year. I think the one thing I would say first when I started looking at the games that are supposed to come out next year is next year is not going to be as good as this year. No. It's not. Especially not in Q1. Definitely not in Q1. <laughs> I mean, la- this year started off with a roar. Yeah. with a I mean, bang. there's some cool stuff in Q1, yeah. but most of it's like remaster stuff. Mostly, yeah. It's not going to be the, the, the flood that was Zelda and Horizon and... And on and on and on. Yeah, and Resident Evil and, I mean... It was, and For Honor. I mean, there are so many big games that came out early this year. And I think on the whole, next year is just not going to be as good as this year. I think this really was the sweet spot for this generation. Yeah. This will end up being It was a sweet spot the for this year. decade. It really, yeah, it really was. And, and again, we'll talk about best ever early next year in one mm-hmm. of the first episodes. Uh, but 2018 is not shaping up to be quite as good, but still pretty good. It was hard to find my two picks for this. Matt, what is your runner-up for most anticipated of 2018? Um, well, my runner-up and winner are switched on this rundown. So oh, are they? Yeah. So I, might, I don't know if I typed that wrong when I sent it to you or yeah, what. I think you did, well, but that shocks me. It should be the other way around. Wow. So, Sam, did you get that? Yeah. Okay. So, so your runner-up is? Runner-up is Nino Kuni 2, which unfortunately was just delayed, just delayed a couple of months. Just delayed by a couple yeah. months, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the first one. I'm a gigantic Studio Ghibli mark, um, so obviously I was on board for this. Uh, even though, even though I guess got done complaining about anime stuff right. in, uh, <laughs> in Xenoblade, in Xenoblade, <laughs> but Ghibli stuff is usually not by rote in that regard. Yeah, yeah. It's not as much harem anime crap. This is going to be more of a fantastical thing, and uh, like. I I I'm in. I don't care. I don't care what this <laughs> yeah. is. I'm in. Like it doesn't matter. Look at this game. Look at it. Looks like it looks like Miyazaki just like brought it to life, and it's it's doubly. It is weird. incredible, man. I mean. Doubly weird because Miyazaki hates video games. But um, <laughs> you know, it's, if if you've ever seen kind of any Studio Ghibli stuff, like seeing it kind of brought to this like real time life is amazing. It was amazing in the first game, and now it's just uh, like mind blowing. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss having the little you know the little comedy relief assistant that sounds like Marcus Beer, but like yeah. <laughs> tidy. Yeah. But, um, you know, whenever they want to put this out, I will be I'm there. I'm buying, yeah. Game does look incredible. And I played it at E3, and it plays really well, yeah. and it's certainly one to keep an eye on. And, I, you know, one of the things about, especially JRPGs these days, is one of the things that will be most most likely to get me interested and willing to overlook the things that, like, annoy me about JRPGs these days is if you give me a, a world to explore and something that like really shows me something I've never seen before or shows it in a way that I haven't seen before and I every single frame of these the trailers they've shown for oh, this yeah. it's incredible like I just want to go run around in it. We well, realize there's also like a Pikmin element to oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's... Uh, the, hey, I mean, the Nintendo first... won't give it to us. Bandai Namco right. can give it to well, us. Well, I mean, the first one also had, you know, the battle system there was deceptively complex yeah, if you wanted sure. to get into it. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I can't wait for this game. Okay. My runner-up for most anticipated game of 2018 is Anthem. And You're an optimistic man. <laughs> am I optimistic? Like, coming out next year, Anthem? It's supposed to be, like, Q1 of next year. I don't think so. Yeah, oh yeah. They said it was either going to make it out before March or right around that window, for sure. I, th- I thought they said fiscal year 28 or something. No, uh uh-uh. It's supposed to come out like in the first three or four months of next year. I know that sounds crazy. I, th- I think that will be news to Bioware. <laughs> really? I don't think it's supposed to be that soon. That's the release date we have on the site. I looked at the story on Sifted, and it totally said end right. of this fiscal year, beginning of next fiscal year, which is like March 31st yeah, well, or whatever. Well, one way or the other, it is Bioware. So. Yep, and I'm in the real Bioware. So I'm really excited about this game. Uh, it looks incredible. I was surprised to see that uh, it was not on the list of for most anticipated at the Game Awards. It wasn't even in the top five. Yet... The Last of Us Part 2 was and won. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see Last of Us 2 after Anthem. Yeah, I, uh, I, then I wondered, I'm like, okay, well, does Jeff have inside information? Um, you know, you would think Naughty Dog would say to Jeff, like, no, it's not coming out this year. Like, you need to find somebody else. But well, I don't think, most anticipated in game, the Game Awards didn't seem to be tied to 2018. Oh, really? It's just no, what, I mean, you may be right, actually. This thing you're looking forward to seemed yeah, to be You may be right, on. actually, about that. Uh, but Anthem, man, this game has got me by the gonads. I'm all over mm-hmm. this game. It's pretty much everything I love in video games wrapped into one product. And like I said, it's being made by the real Bioware team, not kind of the B team that was mm-hmm. handed Andromeda. 
Well, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, from what I've heard, it's like, I mean, Edmonton is obviously the, you know, the core of this, but it's basically all Bioware hands on deck for this game. And like, after what happened with Andromeda, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm really stoked for this game. It's got adventure, action, shooting, Iron RPG Man. elements, Iron Man, <laughs> flying... It's, I love the art. I love the, the setup of the game, the plot of the game. I love yeah, the I'm environments. Pleasantly I, reminded of Xenoblade Chronicles X's environments, like that kind of clearly, an alien, clearly an alien world that you just want to go out and look around. It's, I love the freedom. I love how yeah. you fly from that deck down to the planet. There's no loading. You fly all the way down to the planet's surface and just start the mission. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, really stoked for this game. Uh, has, it seems like it's fallen off a lot of people's radar over the last like three or four months. Yeah, I haven't really talked about it. Yeah, much. we haven't seen much since E3, so I kind of get it, but uh, I haven't forgotten about it. So no, it's for still me, in the back of my mind. I mean, it, this is definitely up there. Yep. So but I don't me, think it comes out. It's going to come out next year, so that's why I didn't pick it. Gotcha. All right, it's time for the winner for your most anticipated game of 2018, Matt. Uh, most anticipated game of 2018 is Shadow of the Colossus Remaster. <laughs> Remake, rather. Remake. Is that an indictment on the industry? No, it's the fact that Shadow of the Colossus is my favorite, favorite game, game of all ever. time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this looks fantastic. It really does, uh, yeah. And, you know, I'd always, I'd always kind of played the original game and been like, oh, it's too bad we'll never get to play this on, like, hardware that could handle what they were trying to, now we do? Yeah. Like, it's, it looks, I mean, this isn't... This is not the this remaster. This is not the remaster, yeah. yeah but, Obviously. But, uh, the uh, it just the, you know the remaster looks fantastic. I know there's some people that think it kind of ruins the art style, but I don't really agree with that. Um, and if I, if I did agree with it, well, I can always play the old one. Yep. Yeah. You know? And uh, it's, I mean, there's actually people arguing that the choppy frame rate is part of the art style presentation. <laughs> I'm just like, no, that's not. I don't think that. I mean, I, I get funny. what you're saying. That it's kind of a cinematic thing, but yeah. it's like that's. Bullshit. Yeah, like, that's not... <laughs> like, playing this at 60 frames a second, I am in. And I also hope they do a VR thing with it. People will find a reason to complain about anything. Yeah. Anything. It's so funny how nitpicky people get on the internet. So, this is... I mean, this is sort of cheating in a way, I guess. But it was like, I love this game yeah, more it's your than favorite just game about of anything all time. ever. And I'm excited to see a new and one. And you're not going to have a whole mountainside yeah, drawing in front of the, your yeah, face. <laughs> exactly. And, uh... You know, comes out pretty soon. Yeah, it does. Uh, was it, February? it looks incredible. Yeah. I mean, that studio has done an excellent job reviving old games. Yeah, like, Blue, Blue Point is, those guys are so good at what they do. For like, sure. Head and shoulders above anyone else doing remasters and remakes now. And they've rebuilt this thing basically from the ground up. And, and look, uh, I, in my opinion, I think it needed it. Needed it. Like, yeah. There's a yeah. lot of janky stuff about this well, game, also, the original version. Well, they also the other problem is like uh, the remaster on uh, PS3... Uh, there was a lot. It was a higher difficulty kind of. The stamina ran out faster, and for a while there was people talking about how, oh, it's like how it was in the European version. And it turns out no, that was just a mistake. Like it's not supposed to be like that. So hopefully Blue Point will be going back to make the balance of this game proper, and uh, it'll be the definitive version of this uh, just this singular game that like, man, there's nothing else like it. There really. isn't. Yep. And, Even uh, today, there's still. Okay, I, I can't wait to enjoy it all over again before the movie comes out and ruins everything. There's a movie coming out? There's there been a movie in development hell for a while, but uh, there's actually a, um, a script that came out. Like, like half Did the you read it? Some of it. Like half the script takes place before the game starts. It's uh, all in the village and all this. You know, it's, it ruins the mystique That ruins of the whole idea yes. of the yes, game. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. That's a terrible idea. Wow. Okay. I wish I didn't know about that now. <laughs> well, with any luck, it will just fail and disappear again like the last two attempts to make a movie out of this. Yeah. Game, so. It is. I mean, if it was handled right, it would make for a great film. But I have a feeling it yeah, would If I made that film, it would basically be a silent movie. Yeah. Because be, you don't need yeah. any. It tells a story all on its own. All right. It's time for me from, to make my pick for my most anticipated game of 2018. Mine is a little more traditional. My most anticipated game is Red Dead Redemption 2. Think that game's coming out this year, Matt? Yeah, I think I think this one will. <laughs> they that's also like Q2, like end of March, early April, mm -hmm. somewhere in that time I frame. I swear Anthem was like November next year. Yeah. They were saying it was like end of next year, which is why I kept thinking, oh, that's gonna slip. That's yeah. totally gonna slip. That's gonna slip to the end of fiscal. It's possible. But this, I believe, them. I mean, Rockstar doesn't. They, you, Rockstar maybe does one delay, and usually they make their second day. And they already kind of did they delay did. this once. Yeah. yeah. So um, look, it was really hard for me to choose because so once I saw the Game Awards give it to The Last of Us Part Two, like I said, I was like, huh, like is that coming out next year? Because if it is, that's my most anticipated game. And then 
This gets bumped to runner up, and then mm -hmm. Anthem gets bumped off. I don't. Th I don't think the Game but, Awards has a year bracket for which that. seems weird. But uh, so then I started thinking about it, and I I read an article like, oh, it's twenty percent done from like two months ago. I'm like, there's no way it's coming out next year. So. Red Dead gets a nod from me. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't really got a new open world Rockstar game for a long time, man. And yeah. I am interested to see what kind of stuff Rockstar has picked up on just has, as the genre has evolved. Do you think there's going to be loot boxes in this game, Matt? I have no idea. Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it'll be like stagecoaches or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like the I, the success of GTA Online makes me think that there would have to be some kind of online component. But G, but Rockstar doesn't really loot box that. I mean, yeah. they, and they're still supporting it with that the cra that crazy new heist that's coming out yeah. with the the flying DeLoreans and shit. Yeah. Um, my curious curiosity about this game is mainly that like the people who are making this game are not the people who made the first one. Right. Because um, Rockstar San Diego didn't exist anymore. Yeah. In fact, most of them got laid off the instant they finished the game. Yeah. And uh, so I'm interested to see if they can, because I think that first game still, I mean, I, it's a second game, fine, whatever. whatever. Like, but Rockstar's first entry in the Red Dead series, like, I, you know, replayed it on Xbox One uh, earlier, about half of it this, this year, and I think that game still holds up. Yeah, like, still, it does. It still works pretty well. And bringing that, you know, if they can capture that same magic on uh, on a new one, like, I'll be, A, I'll be impressed, but at the same time, it'd be kind of like, well, it's Rockstar. Yeah. Rockstar doesn't let anything loose before it's done. But. That's true. So, that's my most anticipated game for 2018. Uh, hopefully it comes out. I, I think it will. I have I a terrible track record with deciding when deciding whether games are going to make it out in a calendar mm, year or that's not. That's true. I am terrible at it. So and you're going to pay for it in January. I am going to pay for it. But, <laughs> I paid um, for it last year too. So no, I, I think it will. I, it might. It wouldn't surprise me to slip to fall because I think it's supposed to be spring right now. Yeah. But I wouldn't surprise me if slip to fall, but I think it will make 2018 for the year. We shall see. All right. That said, we'll see if I decide to draft it or not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which will be coming up soon as well. He will be doing our. Third annual fan. It's hard to believe. Our third yeah. annual fantasy draft coming up real soon.